Hello everybody, I'm Tiffany of Tiffany Outdoors. Welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be making a PVC holster for this BB gun. First thing I'm going to do is cut out a small short section of PVC pipe. And you can use any PVC pipe. I got this for free from a hardware store. It's kind of thin. It's not the Schedule 40. It's a little bit thinner than that. But you can use this regular PVC pipe, whatever you have on hand. Now I'm going to take my Dremel tool and cut right down, right down the center. We need to open this thing up. Now I'm going to take a heat gun and soften this thing up so I can open it up. Then I'm going to transfer it to this piece of wood, put another piece of wood on top of it and clamp it and let it cool so it's flat. Just gonna hold this down until it cools. That way it's flat. The next step is we're gonna heat this up around this middle section here so that we can take it and fold it over the gun. Okay, my next step is I'm going to draw a line with the basic out shape of this thing. Basic outline here. Let's see. So, so I'm, I'm going to take all that and cut it off. Then I'm going to make sure I get this part even here. I'm going to cut that off. And get this even on this side okay I've got the basic shape out now I want to do is do some fine tuning I'm going to clean up this edge where I cut cut this off with the Dremel I'm just going to use this old rasp and kind of smooth this out a lot I use several rasps on this I use some of these smaller ones so I can get in the nooks and crannies but I got everything all even out now I'm going to go over it with a piece of sandpaper now that I've got this all cleaned up with the rasp and some sandpaper and I got this corner right here that was kind of squared off. I rounded it off a little bit now to test fit this thing and see how it fits. Oh yeah, that's nice. That fits nice. My next step is to put some rivets in this thing because I want to, even though it fits snugly, I want to keep this held together. I don't want that to open up like that. So I'm going to put a couple of rivets here. So I always use washers with rivets. Holds it on even better. Okay, I had to mess around with this thing because every time I pulled the, the gun out of the holster, it would uh, take the safety off. So I had to heat this side of it up. I took a file and stuck down in there and bent it out just a little bit just to give it enough room so that that safety button is not dragging across the holster. So I got that fixed. Got a nice snug fit. It's in there really well. And got a nice fit here. So I think I could do a little bit more fine tuning and fine adjustments but I think that this right here is good I might have to do a little bit more here I might put another rivet here I don't want to put too many rivets down here because this needs to open up a little bit so that it makes room 
if it if I put rivets all the way down it would make this thing so tight you wouldn't be able to get the gun in or out so I'm trying to prevent that from happening I might put one more rivet maybe right about here and see how that works but this thing is good so that's all I'm going to do. Maybe a little bit more fine-tuning adjustments here. Heat this up and bend this down a little bit more. Other than that, this is good. So now I'm going to move on to the belt loop. I need to figure out what to do for that. done was I've cut a strap or a piece that's about, about three inches long. I'm going to put a cut through this and flatten this out like I did with the larger piece. piece that's about, about three inches long I'm going to put a cut through this and flatten this out like I did with the larger piece okay I got this little section all straightened out and what I did was I took a straight edge and took a sharpie and drew some lines down here to try and get this as straight as possible so I'm going to take my Dremel and cut off these uh, excess pieces that way I have a nice straight piece now I'm going to take this rasp and clean up the edges and get them nice and smooth. Right now I'm trying to figure out where exactly to bend this. This is my leather belt that I wear every day so I'm trying to figure out how this is going to hang on there. I, I just don't know. I have a line drawn here. I'm thinking maybe bend it. Maybe bend it right here. So when it bends over, got about half of it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to draw a line right here. That's uh, about one inch down. So I want to bend heat this up and then I'm going to bend it. I think I've got this figured out and now I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to straighten this side back out and then I'm going to bend it on this first line that's a little bit further down here so I'm going to take this part, this bent part, straighten it back out, re-bend it down here make my little hoop there and then once your belt is on or you can put it on without a belt or you can put it on without taking your belt off and this little flap here I'm going to cut this down kind of even with this loop here and your belt you just clip it here and then slide it down and your belt will retain in this this area I might be over explaining this y'all but um, I'll show you in a minute so what I did was I cut that first little tab off that was bent the first time. So I cut it off at that line and that's my original line. So I'm going to bend this down here. There's my new bend. Let me bend it down a little bit more. Let's see. Kind of tight close to the skin. It's not too bulky. Now I need to use my belt. It's the test. Yeah. Up just a touch.
okay so there we go and now I can re-bend this back back up and what I did was I used two rivets to attach this you see one there there's another one a little bit higher up Use this file to push it down. Alright, I'm just going to hold this here for a minute and let it cool. And then I'm going to take my Dremel and cut right along the top of this thing here. take my file and file this down. All right, let's see. Yeah. I was hoping that you wouldn't have to undo your belt to get this thing on, but I didn't make it quite big enough for that. So, but this fit regular belt. Well, this thing came out a lot better than I thought it would with this being my first time doing one of these I could do a little bit more fine-tuning on the fit on this side but for the most part this thing is rock-solid it'll stay in there you can run with it you can do whatever and it'll stay nice and snug it's got a nice nice retention in it I really like it this came out this came out pretty good it's not perfect and it's not pretty, but it's perfectly imperfect. I want to thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So, I'll see you later. Bye. I love that sound.